Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Node.js with MySQL APIs. This is our part number 30. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about Koa that is another framework of Node.js. In the last videos, we had seen about the frameworks of Node.js called Express as well as inside the previous video, we had discussed little bit about Happy.js. So Koa is also a web application framework which is used with Node.js application like what we have done with Express framework. So to use this, we need to use same npm install Koa in our Node application and we can create our routes and configure and listen with a port. So let's see by making a simple example that how can we create a web server as well as listen some routes by using Koa web application framework in Node.js. So if I back to terminal, now this is our project what we have done from the previous video or let's say from the starting video sessions. Now inside this we are going to install Koa. So before that if I open package.json right now these are the dependencies what we have installed. So back to terminal let's npm install and we need to let's say dependent is to say inside package.json and simply let's say Koa. So if I press enter now as we can see that the application is now installing to our node modules. So wait for a while. Now successfully we have installed in our application. So if we back to editor, go to package.json and now this is what we have installed. So click to close. Now let's create a file something let's say you koa.js now inside this we are going to import the package and use to create our routes so let's say const koa equal to let's say require and simply let's say koa so here successfully we have imported so let's say import koa from application. Now we are ready to create our app instance. So let's say const app equal to and we are going to create a Koa instance. This is the Koa what we have imported from our application and we have created an object. Now let's say that app dot listen in the same way what we had done with the express inside the first parameter of this listen method we need to pass the port number so let's say const port equal to let's say 4000 so I am going to pass this port here so let's say port and we need to call anonymous function or let's say a callback function so let's say console.log let's say server is running at 4000 port. So if we save all these changes back to terminal and let's say that nodemon something ukoa dot js. So pressing enter. Now as we can see that server is running at 4000 port. So successfully now we have created our own web server using Koa and listening at 4000 ports. Now let's define some routes to listen at this port. So let's define ports here. So to define a welcome page, let's say that app.use means app.use. This is the app instance and inside this I am to define async and let's say that inside this response let's say next route and I'm going to use the arrow function so inside this let's say response dot body equal to let's say welcome to Koa framework so if we save all these changes back to browser 
and let's localhost and if we open about 4000 port pressing enter now welcome to Koa framework so if I back to editor and let's change this message something within S3 tag so let's the S3 passing here save all these changes load this page now welcome to Koa framework so this is the simplest route actually we had defined to open a welcome page but inside this Koa framework to define about the routes we have another package something called Koa router so if I back to terminal now cancel out the server and let's say that npm install something saving dependency and this is Koa hyphen router now this is the package which is used to define routes in Koa framework so if I pressing enter now we can see that it is in process to install inside our node modules folder now successfully we have installed this package now I'm going to start our server so let's say nodemon something ukoa.js and successfully we have started that so let's back to editor to use about core router what we have installed so back here now let's say that I'm going to import that package first so let's say const router equal to let's say require and something we have called Koa hyphen router now let's create a variable so let's say const something called router or let's say simply where routes equal to let's say router now this is the variable now we have successfully defined an object by using this router so inside here we can simply let's say create an object and here we have successfully input Koa router package now here we can say that if I make use of this comment or let's say simply comment here now simply let's say app.use and inside this I'm to pass this routes variable so copy that so copy and go inside this and let's say routes dot and we have a method called routes this is the method actually available by using this npm package so why not actually I'm going to make this underscore here this is a variable or let's say this is an object so underscore and this is underscore because we have a router variable as well as a routes method so if I define here about a router or let's say routes it will be some confusion to understand so let's say this is an object now I'm too ready to define our routes so let's say underscore dot get method and inside this if I put a welcome page and let's say we have an anonymous function and inside this function we have a response object and all about next route so only we need to put called response.body and let's say within s3 tag the same message I'm to copy and pasting it here so this is all about let's say welcome to Koa framework using Koa router so if I save all these changes back to terminal and successfully the server has restarted behind the scene back to browser reload this page now we have a welcome message that is welcome to Koa framework using Koa router so again if I back to editor and let's see that if I copy this routes pasting it here and again I'm going to create a route let's say user so this is all about to welcome to user page so if I save all these changes back to browser and if I change the route to user and this is welcome to user page so by using our core router package what we have installed 
By using this, simply we can create our instance and by the help of this instance actually we can create our own custom routes. After that defining our routes, we need to simply use this underscore means the object dot routes inside this app variable and this is app variable is nothing it's an object which is created by using koa class. So this is all about using get method. We have various methods available what we have seen inside express something called post something called delete all we can use that simply we need to call about object dot let's delete all we have to pass our route and here we need to define our callback function now this is the way to use about every method while using our koa router package so inside this video session guys we have seen about the use of koa that is another way framework of node.js application we had seen about some basic concept of using koa and the koa router so while going through the playlist of node.js application with mysql apis we had seen about express we had seen about happy as well as we had seen about koa way framework while using our Express, we had seen about the complete concept using Express, using its route, as well as we had connected our Express framework with our MySQL APIs. While going through our MySQL package, we had seen about all CRUD operations, that is, how can we play with create, read, edit, delete, and various MySQL packages as well as we had seen about using joins and various MySQL functions like we had created about stored processors as well. So basically guys if you found if you find any confusion or any doubt in any way of the topic inside this playlist please please feel free feel free to ask from us. So please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.